Coming up on Around Kern County, Kern County Animal Services is making licensing your pet even easier. We're introducing you to their latest partnership with DocuPet. And Kern County is in bloom. We'll show you where you can go to check out our local wildflowers when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We are still celebrating our county being awarded more than $9 million in Clean California grant funding to invest in upgrades in some of our Kern County parks. Districts 2, 4, and 5 will all be receiving funding for park renovations at Heritage Park, Mojave East Park, and Lost Hills Park. The journey to this funding started with engagement. Kern County staff spent countless hours in these communities to create design elements based off of residents and their suggestions. Everything you see in these designs are due to community volunteers sharing with our organization the features they need and want most. From new restrooms to state-of-the-art soccer fields, Fantastic additions to these local parks are on the way for residents. People actually were crying at, at, at some, some of these meetings because I don't think they'd ever felt like government had listened to them like that. And then when they got the news that, okay, we heard what you wanted and we drew it into the plan, uh, it really touched some people. I'm really proud of the fact that the county was able to go out and to hear what people wanted and put it into a plan and then to get the funding to actually implement that, I think people are going to be blown away when they see some of these parks. They're going to be as nice as any park I think in, that you can see in California. This is really the first huge show to the world that what we can do, or rather what we can do, right, when we're focused on serving the constituents, building up the community and building up our amenities so that everybody Everybody benefits from it. Not one group or one neighborhood. These parks are county gems. They're community gems. These grants um, not only improve the, uh, the facilities that we have, but they signal that those communities are important. These improvements will be complete by June of 2024. For more information, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. The Kern County Library is celebrating Women's History Month by helping readers connect with this campaign. The library has curated a list of books by and about women who ground us, inspire us, and give us courage. The library says these reads call attention to the diverse nature of the female experience. And they hope through these carefully selected pages, Readers can explore what Women's History Month is all about. I think that books are a wonderful way to connect people to think internally, to have conversations and spark discussion. And books are kind of the first place to do that. Since the library is a place where you can access those materials for free, we are offering those conversations kind of immediately within our doors. So if you're wanting to get connected to events like these or discussions like these, we encourage you to check out a title, like a nonfiction title perhaps, to spark those discussions and get started. Residents can access these selections in person at any Kern County Library branch branch or check them out online through their e-library. To view these hand-picked books, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. Kern County Animal Services is providing a new way for pet owners to license their animals through an exciting partnership with DocuPet. This system, now accessible on Kern County Animal Services website, gives pet owners personalized options including the ability to buy your pet a uniquely designed tag. This service also includes a pet portal to store pet vaccination and license records, along with a 24-7 lost pet recovery service called HomeSafe. DocuPet is also easily accessible and can be used right on your cell phone. Animal Services says this new amenity is just one way they're trying to make caring for local pets as easy as possible. DocuPet offers um, more value to people's license. So you're going to purchase your license and you're going to get to choose the tag of your choice that serves as your county license. So 
Um, not only does it provide uh, more choice and uh, a little bit more customizing of the, the license options, but uh, there's also some other um, added benefits in the package of purchasing your, purchasing your license. And when you're using DocuPet to license your four-legged friend, know you're doing something good. 10% of all licensing fees get diverted to a trust fund that's used to support local spay and neuter activities. And we're ending today with a glimpse of spring. Check out these gorgeous shots of wildflowers popping up around our county. From poppies to lupin, colorful blooms are starting to decorate our Kern County hills, showing our community a new season is on the way. If you'd like to enjoy these wildflowers in person, a great place to look is on the way to Tehachapi, where you can see these blooms starting to begin. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.